for multiple purposes and projects. The most widely known use, of course, is to present information in a slide deck format. However, PowerPoint can also be used to create instructional materials like handouts and instructional aids. So it's important to know how to resize PowerPoint slides in order to customize them to fit your project. The default view is going to be the home tab, but you're going to want to click on the design tab. You're going to notice on the right hand side, you have the option to change the screen size to two of the default PowerPoint sizes, four by three or 16 by nine. However, you can also choose page setup, and this may be labeled custom slide size in earlier versions of PowerPoint. In the slides sized for list, you're going to want to click the size you want, and in some cases you want maybe a letter page, or you have some default pages based on maybe some different types of stationery that you may be printing your project to. For example, you can create a document size by selecting the eight and a half by 11 inch tall letter page. This can be especially helpful for an instructional designer to work in PowerPoint when creating documents or guides. From the page setup menu, you can also change the orientation for the slides from portrait to landscape. This includes the slide itself, or you can choose the notes, handouts, and outlines to be oriented to portrait or landscape. You can also opt to simply choose the size by adding in a custom size to the height and width. So we can change this to perhaps eight and a half by 11 by simply typing in the size. Once I have sized it, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll be asked to choose how to scale the size. So scaling up will maximize the size of the content. Scaling down will ensure that the content will fit in the slide with the new specifications. So if you choose to maximize, for instance, I'm just going to click scale up. Some content may fall outside of the slide if it's larger than this current size. If you add additional slides, perhaps from the home page, you can add new slide and you're going to notice that the options have now changed in the drop down menu to include different formats according to the new dimensions that you've chosen. Just a note for printing, PowerPoint slides don't have margins like Word documents, so your slide content stretches from edge to edge. Even when you resize the slide, make sure to preview your document before printing. You can do so by going to File, Print, and simply looking at the preview window to see if everything fits the way you intended. You can make adjustments accordingly and also choose the paper size.